What is the scope chain? So previously we spoke about the different scopes in JavaScript. I mentioned the global scope and then I also mentioned the function scope. But an important fact about function scopes is that they can nest inside other function scopes. And when an inner function needs to use a variable, it looks up what's called the scope chain. It first looks in the variables inside its own function scope. If it can't find the variable there, it will then look inside its outer function scope. And if it can't find it there, it will keep on going outer and outer and outer until it reaches the global scope. So just conceptually, you might be thinking, actually, that's easy. I understand that concept. Thank you very much, Asim. But there's one pretty important fact to know about this, which is that the scope chain is defined by the way the program is written in the file. So the best way to explain this is with a couple of examples. I'm going to just copy and paste some code. I've just pasted some code. We have the function foo and inside the function foo, I'm just going to console log a variable called my var. Then I have the function goo and inside the function goo, I've declared the variable my var and I've set it to one and I call that foo function that I just spoke about. And then in the global scope, I just call the goo function. So let's just run this function now. And then you can see we've got an error. The error is uncaught reference error my var is not defined. So over here, was that what you expected to happen? Did you expect the foo function to really to be able to see the my var function just because it's been called from within goo and after my var has been declared? Is that what you expected? And it's no shameful thing if that's what you thought. A lot of JavaScript developers would perhaps assume this when they're first looking at JavaScript, but that's not what actually happens. Now, the reason for this is that the scope chain is defined what's called lexically. And that's just a big word that means the scope chain is defined in the order in which the code is written on page or in the file, but another way. So the myvar function isn't available to the foo function because literally in the file, the myvar variable isn't declared above the foo function. So let me explain it by doing something else. Okay, let me put the foo function inside the goo function, but after myvar has been declared, okay? And then when I run that, there we go. Now one is printed out. And that's because the scope chain is lexically defined. So when the inner foo function is called and it looks for myvar, it's then going to look inside its own scope. So its own scope is defined here. It's not going to find the myvar function. So it's going to look in its outer scope and in its outer scope is the goo function. And that's where it finds the myvar. So it finds it there. And that's when it prints it out. So again, if I take this myvar function and I stick it outside and then I refresh, one is getting printed out again. So the foo function is getting called. It's going to look for my var. It can't find it inside its own scope. So it looks in its outer scope, which is the goo function. It can't find it in the goo scope. So it looks in the global scope and there it finds it. So that's what the interviewer is really looking for when they're asking you any questions around the scope chain. They A, want to make sure that you understand how JavaScript resolves a variable, as in it looks inside its inner scope and then the outer scope until it finds the variable. But the interviewer is really looking for an, an understanding of the lexical nature of the scope chain. That is to say that the scope chain is defined by how the code is physically written on the page versus how the functions are called. So that's when they might try and trick you up by showing you some code like this and asking you what gets printed out. So just be really careful and wary about these kinds of questions because they can trick you up. But all you've got to remember about the scope chain is that the variables are resolved in the order in which the code is written on the page. So a simple one to remember in my opinion.